I did say we were going for an old death run. <laughs> if you love tense murder dramas based on real serial killers, horror games that don't require much gameplay, or watching your favorite character gruesomely die because your finger slipped after I was keeping them alive, you'll love The Devil in Me. Welcome to 5 Minute Game Reviews with your resident Neko business cat, Miss Lero Rose, where we sniff out if a game is worth your hard earned rose credits, or if you should pushing it off your tippy playlist. Let's get down to business. The Devil in Me is yet another narrative horror experience in the Dark Pictures anthology, one of the stories overseen by the mysterious curator. You swap between a cast of five characters who, as part of a documentary film crew, have been invited to a modern day replica hotel, the Murder Castle, belonging to America's first serial killer, H.H. Holmes. This ragtagged presso expresso crew who can't get along to save their lives is trapped in a sore funhouse complete with an oven to crisp that flesh just right, a meat grinder to get rid of all those pesky bone chunks, a pancake maker to flatten things to perfection, and of course a totally normal freezer to store it all in. Escape. Or just don't. That's okay too. So, how does it hold up on the Rose Enterprise's official rating scales? Is it good for the pause? Not my pause at least. I played on PC and failed just about every QTE because clicking just wouldn't register, damn it. Seriously, left click, right click, middle click, spacebar, whole click, it just wouldn't work. It might be better on console, which I played the previous game on and didn't have nearly as much trouble. Besides that, it's a fairly straightforward game, but they've added some other mechanics like electrical puzzles, a small inventory, unnecessary commando crawling, squeezing through things and balancing on logs. It definitely felt like it was all there for the sake of mechanics instead of the story really requiring set actions, so I'd rate it a mediocre 3 out of 5. Is the plot chunky or slunky? It started out promising, it really did. The premise was set up in the flashback well, but then severely declined from there. There was a full three hours of setup that didn't set up anything, and it could have been cut. The characters were bland, forgettable, unlikable, and were all super downers that hated each other. And if you were expecting anything demonic from the title, you'd be just as disappointed as me. A narrative-based game has no business having crappy writing, so it's a 1 out of 5 for me. Does it look pretty? I gotta ask, did they run out of budget? I felt like their previous games were animated a lot better, and it felt like the only part of their faces that moved were their mouths. Everything was so stiff and there wasn't an emotion to be found. It was appropriately gory throughout, and it definitely made me cringe. I'd have to give it a 2 out of 5, because they could have and have done so much better. Would your ears prick up? Okay, so there was little to nothing happening sound-wise. None of the characters had anything to say about the things that were happening while they were wandering around, so the game was mostly silent besides the jump scares. <laughs> Didn't rank high on atmospheric horror for me, and there was pretty much no music. Two out of five. You could probably add half a point because the curator's intro is dope. <laughs> How does it rank on the scaredy cat scale? Taking into account that I jump at the toaster, I can only give it a 2.5 out of 5. The games relied way too much on jump scares, and when I realised it was just a serial killer and no supernatural stuff at all, every little inconsistency and dumb character response made it feel unrealistic and I just couldn't stop poking holes into it. Overall, I'd rate this game on the meow scale. I was excited for this game and this studio has the capacity to do better so I expect better, but it could have been really good and it just wasn't. And finally, the million dollar question, should you spend your rose credits on this? I bought it at launch and I didn't really feel like I got my money's worth, so unless you like a walking simulator with cheap jump scares, I would either wait for a sale or just give this one a pass. All the linky links below if you feel like it. Alrighty ladies and gentle nuns, that about wraps up this 5 minute review. If you played the game before or want to try it out, leave a comment below. And make sure you subscribe for more reviews, me out or at least me your gameplay, to become part of the Rose Enterprises lore and more. Until next time!